Oh, it was power here to review the Tower Zero One SH. Uh, whatever this is, <laughs> the SH Trigger. It's Common Rider Orthos Vulcan. So this is the uh, this is what I consider Vulcan super form. Um, this is the form he gains two episodes before the finale. Um, obviously, don't rely on me, who's only seen the first arc. But um, as you can. See, this is just simply a repaint of Assault Wolf, but obviously instead of using the Assault Wolf Progress Key, he uses um, the Japanese Wolf Zetsumarize Key from Naki, which I thought they were present on this box, but I'm surprised they're not. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, obviously this was a premium band I released, so it cost a lot. And funny enough, um, typically with the Zero One boxes, they will say what part, like what faction they're part of. So, like, obviously the original Assault Wolf was Aim Squad, but then because at this point Fuo was self-aligned, so it's just Common Rider. That that's actually kind of funny. Anyways, let's actually get to the, you know, figure itself. So here is. Assault Wolf out of his box, and he's actually packaged, obviously the same as Assault Wolf, but, um, just, again, as I said before, just the base figure of this is simply a repaint of Assault Wolf, which is why they were able to pump this out, rather than, like, Rampage and such. However, um, if you guys don't know, uh, I, I adore this repaint a lot uh, just because it's essentially like a combination of like of a color scheme I would potentially have for like I guess my own creation I apologize if it's really dark but like the colors of this figure are just perfection of me like this is what I would definitely would want my own like character to have and such so like because um obviously i will compare it to assault wolf later but just the shade of blue i think it's slightly brighter it's not as dark and obviously all the red got replaced with a lighter shade of blue and then all the black got replaced with white and then obviously we got this metallic white color around and then obviously the undersuits tend to be the only thing that remains but other than that like this i love this retooling a lot all right obviously it's mostly a repaint they they actually did however retool the helmet just a bit to actually have more of an emphasis on the wolf as you can see they added teeth <laughs> Um, I think there is more when we actually compare, which I guess we can do that right now, just because, you know, I don't feel like jumping into articulation. So, yeah, here is Assault Wolf. You can tell, yeah, so it, it does seem like the blue's the same, but you can tell, like, the... The way they repainted it, like, definitely emphasized, emphasized more parts to it. But, yeah, technically the only new part is just the teeth on the eyes, which is nice. Obviously, the, uh, the arc isn't, obviously, not, they, it, that, obviously, it's just white now, because that isn't an entire point anymore. Um, uh, yeah, so you can just tell that, like, they simply repainted wherever, like, what whatever was black, they made white, whatever was red, they made to a lighter shade of blue, and I, like, this is one of the best repaints ever <laughs> within the entire franchise, like, honestly, and such. <laughs> like, it might not look different, but, man, it's, I love it. Um, I can't 
can't really tell if they got rid of any details of the Salt Wolf. Because I feel like they probably added a lot more just to make it stand out. Like, for example, the shoulders here are just, you know, normal. But then on a Salt Wolf, they're actually painted. So, I just like how, like, obviously they repainted the existing colors here. But then, like, added more to make it more original in some way and such. So, uh... Basically, because it is the same figure, articulation remains to be the same. So, you have a ball joint entire rotation. <laughs> I've been forgetting the terminology. I apologize. I'm just going to take off the shot riser. It's going to fall off. Rotate all the way around. You can move this up and down. This is on a ball joint, the shoulder pad. You, this is a double joint? It's not. Okay. Hand rotation, obviously. Uh, it is also a ball joint, but it's hindered because of the wrist strap. Kick to the left. Kick forward. Kick back. You have to remember these are pointy. There's a double jointed knee. You can swivel. Then the feet. Obviously, swivel around. The toes can bend forward. I think the toes are... Yeah, toes are the same. And then... You have an entire ab crunch and, like... Wrist... Uh, waist articulation and such. Obviously, essentially... That and such. So... Um, yeah, that's essentially it for articulation. And again, just looking at most of the details are the same. Obviously, the details they did change. Here's the shot riser. Obviously, um, Assault Wolf had Shooting Wolf and Punching Kong on the holster, but Ultra's Vulcan has no progress keys. The shot riser, obviously, is just the shot riser. No with the Japanese wolf Zetsumari's key with just the you know symbol there no <laughs> no details at all I don't know why figure it skimps out on those I find it really weird but <laughs> you know obviously you can still put progress keys in here but obviously to be accurate it's not present so now let's get to the uh, accessories. I actually try to make them stand straight because that's the difficulty of figures. Oh, so actually, let's keep the tray. So um, obviously he comes with four hands. I think he comes with less hands than a salt wolf. Yeah. He comes with one pair less. Uh, so, obviously, he has open hand. He has a shot riser hand. Another, so, a way more split open hand, and then closed hands. Yeah, so I guess he doesn't come with an, his, the extra pair of hands he would have came with. Would, is essentially for him to hold the authorized buster. Obviously, he doesn't have that. And then, I will show these off. Because this is technically new. So, obviously, because the main thing with Orthos Vulcan is that he gains whatever the claws are called. <laughs> like, he, his main weapons are the claws from Japanese Wolf. So, those are indeed included. So, this is for the right hand. Or the right gauntlet. This is for the left gauntlet. In addition to that... It comes with, as you saw in the back of the box, the broken version of the gauntlet. To which you simply... Let me zoom in more. But all you do is just you simply pull that out. And then just tab this in. Within this gauntlet. So now you have a broken 
uh, call, which was pretty neat. I was actually kind of afraid that they were just going to supply an entirely, like, an entire gauntlet with just this piece. But I'm actually happy they're being, like, conservative. And I don't even know if that's the term. They're just, be, you know, they're just being like, oh, yeah, here. You can remove this. You can remove the left one, too. But you can't. I don't think this does fit. This obviously doesn't fit because it's not made for this side. Just because the shape is different. But obviously, uh, this, luckily, unlike the Soto, because they already had this, like, system work. Because obviously you have to remove these to switch the hands out. So they didn't even have to do any remolding. So all you do here is simply just tab these in. And there you go. <laughs> you have um, Orthos Vulcan with the claws, which is which is pretty neat. <laughs> so uh, I'll do a pose for the end because uh, switching the hands out, I'm I don't want to do on camera. So let's just get to my overall thoughts. I don't know what pose I was trying to make him do because it looks like he's trying to do like an Agito pose because apparently that's all I can think of. <clears throat> I should have, I, I really should have gone over how you switch the hands. Obviously, just like Orthos, like Assault, obviously the wristband is separate from the hand. You simply wrap the wristband around the hand and then you plug it in and such. I just didn't want to do it on camera. In fear of what I feel like is going to happen to the assault. Luckily, I don't have to. Because, um, yeah, my thoughts overall about Orthos is like, yeah, this is perfection. I heavily adore this figure. Yeah, he's just going to be in a box after this. But honestly, it's just like, that's just how I have to deal with my figures. But, um, like, obviously, like, Picking up figure arts is up to you because of the fact they are expensive because they are like 50 to 70 dollars a piece. So that's why you have to be very like, that's why you, I don't know, I don't know how you can be, like I guess it makes sense for someone to be solely a figure arts collector because I guess it is manageable. But yeah, like obviously like the, the dilemma of figure arts is that you can't obviously it, they're expensive, especially the premium ones. <sighs> but, like, I, again, I love this figure. Just because, like, you know, again, this figure was, like, easy for them to do. Because all they had to do, really, was just to provide you new new gauntlet pieces. <laughs> like, that's all they had to do. Everything else, they just had to repackage and obviously repaint the figure. Like, it, this is like, this is just the, gosh. Like, again, like I said, I love the color scheme for this form. Like, this is, again, just one of the best repaints they've ever done. And, you know, um, <laughs> just to have, like, a high quality figure of this thing is great. And then also to have a solo figure is also great, too. But, um, like, I can't really tell you if you need it, because it's really up to you. That's, those are reviews in general. Because <laughs> it's just up to you, the viewer, if you want it. Not because of me, but because of your own judgment. Because I'm not supposed to be the reason why you want something. <laughs> but, um, essentially, I'm happy that, at least with this, like, at least with uh, Orthos Vulcan, I'm not so afraid of switching the hands out because, again, my ish issue with my Assault Wolf is that I feel like whenever I do switch the hands out, I'm going to end up snapping the joint here, which is why I don't want to do it repeatedly. And, again, just to show you, like, the hands are literally the same. <laughs> so, like, yeah, like, you can do, like, poses between the two of these because you know they're the same thing and now honestly I would I don't know if I will be so desperate to pick up a figure 
of Dire Wolf. I, I think I'm honestly okay with the Soto. <sighs> just because, like, yeah, it is. Because, obviously, Dire Wolf is just simply a... They just need to repaint the majority of Ichigata. And then give him new shoulder pads and a helmet. But I'm pretty sure they'll get to Arc Scorpion. They would. I'm pretty sure they want to do Arc Scorpion then... Lone Wolf, because Arc Scorpion, they just have to do a new helmet, and obviously add the Zero One Driver, because Lone Wolf is essentially a repaint of Arc Scorpion, but anyways, uh, Orthos Vulcan is perfection, it's one of the best things that came out of the last three episodes of Zero One, the other two stuff, no. <laughs> this is power and I'll leave it people. I'm sorry. Bye.